In this video, I'm going to show you guys how a cooling fan switch works. And I'm also show you guys how I tested my cooling fan switches. Um, this is my old cooling fan switch. I replaced it with a, a new one. And this one, I took this one out so I can show you guys how I tested my cooling fan switch. Um, when engineers were designing this cooling fan switch, they used the uh, thermal expansion uh, characteristics of metals and created a disc uh, with two metals, which is the main component of the of the switch. And when the, that disc uh, hits a specific temperature, it snaps into the on position and uh, it turns the switch on pretty much. And I'll show you guys in an animation right now. This is a basic layout of a normally open cooling fan switch. At colder temperatures, the bimetallic disc keeps the contacts apart in the open position, which means the switch is off. When the cooling fan switch reaches its op optimum temperature, the bimetallic disc pops in the opposite direction and forces the contact to come together, which means that the cooling fan switch is now on. Here's my setup. I grabbed my dog's old water bowl and I grabbed this wire, bent it into the shape so it holds a cooling fan switch or a thermal switch. I'm gonna fill up the bowl full of water until it covers a thread on the switch. And uh, I'm gonna boil the water, leave it for five minutes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and test the leads, the terminals on this switch with the, with the multimeter. This particular switch turns on at 203 degrees Fahrenheit. Other types of switches uh, can vary from uh, 185 degrees to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so this is about ready to be tested. So I'm pretty much getting like about 100 uh, ohms. I'm gonna go ahead and test the old one. Let's see if I could. And the old one doesn't give me any readings at all. So pretty much that one's broken. I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Whew, it's hot. Yeah, so the old thermal switch is broken. So yeah. 